A great way to speak more fluent English faster is to look for quick wins. Quick wins are things that are easy to fix, but have a huge impact on how natural you sound. One example is the contraction I've, which means I have, or its cousins, you've, we've, she's, or they've. The rule is simple, but it's still a common mistake. Basically, the only time you should use I've or its cousins is when the word have or has is in between a pronoun and a verb. This works in greater than 90% of cases and will help you sound 100% more natural. For example, if we have the pronoun I plus the word have plus a verb like visited, then we can say, I've visited the US. Technically, the word visited is a past participle, but that's just a special name for a type of verb. Believe it or not, you now know everything you need to stop making this mistake. Now, let's try to practice. Can we use the contraction I've in this sentence? First, we need to look at what comes after the word have. In this case, it's the word for. Is for a verb? No. Therefore, we can't say, I've for kids. How about this sentence? Let's look at the word that comes after have. In this case, it's got. Got is a verb. Therefore, we can say, I've got to get a new haircut soon. By the way, have and have got basically mean the same thing and are often used interchangeably. The only difference is that when you say have got, it means that you can use a contraction like I've because got is a verb. For example, if you say hurry up, we have a flight to catch, then the word after have is a. A is not a verb. We can't say we've a flight to catch. On the other hand, if you say, hurry up, we have got a flight to catch, the word after have is got. Got is a verb, so you can say, hurry up, we've got a flight to catch. Let's see some more examples. Can you use the contraction I've here? Is an a verb? No, it's not. So we can't say, I have an intermediate level of English. What if you were having a conversation with a friend? They ask you, have you seen the new movie? And you answer, yes, I have. Could you use the contraction I've here instead? As always, look at what comes after the word have. In this case, there's nothing. Have is at the end of the sentence. Nothing is not a verb, so no, you can't say, yes, I've. Let's change the subject to she. What do you think of this sentence? What comes after has? It's the word been. Been is a verb. That means that, yes, we can say, she's been here two times. Here's a tricky one. Even though the word agree is a verb, it doesn't matter. The word next to have is to, and to is not a verb. That means we can't say you've to agree that this is crazy. What do you think about this one? The word that comes after have is told, which is a verb. However, this is the only major exception to our rule. If you have a subject with multiple people, in this case, Jack and I, you shouldn't say, Jack and I've told him to stop 10 times. If we make it a single subject, in this case, Jack, then the normal rule applies. Told is the word that comes after have. Told is a verb. We can say, Jack's told him to stop 10 times. Note that when we have a noun like Jack, instead of a pronoun like he, it's normal to make the contraction when you're talking, but it's not common to use it when you're writing. If you're writing, 
it's better to stick with Jack has told him to stop 10 times. Congrats, you're done. But, but what about this random expression I've seen that breaks the rule? My advice? Don't sweat the small stuff. If you want to sound natural, follow the rule you heard in this video. Remember, using contractions is optional. If you follow the rules you learned here, you'll sound natural 99% of the time, which is exactly what we want. If you like this lesson, click like and subscribe below. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get all my free lessons. By the way, if you like improving your English in a short amount of time, go to deliberateenglish.com to get a free 15-minute workout guide. It's full of challenging exercises that can help you improve your English even on busy days. See you later.